right, everyone. Welcome back um, with Princeton Microgreens. And today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, so we grew some wheatgrass. And so what we're going to show you today is, is, is how to store wheatgrass and how to possibly sell your stored wheatgrass. Um, so we sell this in uh, normally four ounce containers. Um, and four ounces is pretty good. Two ounces of wheatgrass doesn't really do a whole lot. Um, if somebody wanted to juice it, you really want to get much out of it. Uh, so we do a minimum of four ounces with our wheatgrass. Um, but um, I also wanted to show you that it's not the only way to sell wheatgrass as well. So what we have here is um, we found these on Amazon and I tested this out. And this is a really awesome method that I wanted to share with you. So uh, this is a plastic bag that has um, one entry of for where you fill it um, with the wheatgrass juice. And the, uh, the squares, there's actually squares, they're kind of marked off, you can't really see it, it's hard to see. Um, but they fill up um, and you can actually freeze this entire thing. Um, and that way you can actually um, you know, break off a block at a time and put it into a smoothie, um, all frozen. And the reason why that's so important is because when you juice wheatgrass, you can't actually store in the refrigerator for a long period of time. It actually goes bad within hours in the refrigerator. Uh, so this is a really great method to store wheatgrass for up to months and also be able to sell at a market for months at a time as well. Um, if you don't sell this, you know, one market, you can probably, you know, go back the next week or the week after and still have the product, um, you know, in a, in a cooler, uh, all frozen uh, for sale for a few weeks, um, being that this is going to last for several months. So. Um, uh, in order to do that, so what we're going to need here is obviously your wheatgrass that we already have cut, um, I have here in the bowl. Um, and then I have a, a juicer. Uh, traditionally, any juicer will work. Uh, we found this on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box below. Um, we just found this on sale. We figured we'd give it a shot. I've used it a couple times, and it works pretty well. Um, so I, I do like it. Um, and then this right here is a, is a bag sealer. So these bags, and again, I'll put all this stuff in the link in the description box below. These bags actually don't seal themselves. Uh, so I went and found a, a plastic bag sealer on Amazon. This was about $25. And um, I tested it out, and it works great. After it fills up, you seal it. It's a real professional seal. And then you can put this right into the freezer, and boom, you're done. So. Um, I warn you that this could get a little messy if you're doing it by yourself. Um, you kind of got to, because you got to put a, uh, a funnel in uh, to get the, the wheat grass, grass juice to kind of fill up. Then you got to put it in and seal it. And, and sometimes, you know, it might leak or you might spill a little bit. So just be real careful. Um, I'm sure you'll figure out different ways to, to do this um, with this losing as the least amount of product as possible, obviously. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get started with this. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're actually just going to uh, we're going to turn this on, and we will just start feeding the wheatgrass in. Um, what's, there's two holes here. There's this hole right here, which the wheatgrass comes out of um, when it's done being juiced, and then this is the actual juice that comes out. So the juice will come in this one, and kind of the pulp in this one, um, and then we'll we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Sorry if this is a little noisy. So. We just start shoving it in. A little bit at a time here. There it goes. <laughs> Just a little bit at a time here. Just keep on going. <laughs> I'm actually going to turn it on hard. The slow seems to be clogging up just because the wheatgrass is um, it's pretty thick, you know? So we'll give it a little bit more power. Um, I was wrong, actually. The juice comes in this one and the pulp goes in that one. So.
All right, as you can see there, we're done. So this right here is uh, all of the extra, the wheatgrass that, that comes out, the pulp. Um, kind of disgusting looking, <laughs> but it's very dry. Uh, it, it's, uh, you could tell that the, the wheatgrass is like, the, all the juice is completely out of it. Um, and then right here, get that out of there. And then right here is what we have for the juice right here, which is uh, pretty cool, right? Um, not a ton of juice, right? I uh, actually, I'm gonna grab my measuring cup here. So sorry about that, I wanted to wash it out so that we can actually get a good measure here of, of how much juice this is. And I'm actually gonna try to strain off the top here. That way we don't have all this foam on top as well. There we go. Pretty good, we have all the foam left too, right? So we didn't get that in there, so that's great. Um, it looks like it's about, about five, five ounces of wheatgrass juice, and this is for one whole tray of, of wheatgrass. We grew a 10 by 20 tray um, of wheatgrass, and we were able to get about five ounces out of that. Um, so not, not very much at all. Um, what I like to do is, is um, I actually like to uh, dilute this down with water a little bit uh, so it's not as strong and you get a little bit more out of it. Uh, we let our customers know that and they're fine with that as well. Um, so what I usually like to do is I usually like to add um, about um, you know a half a cup of water to this um, and it also allows us to uh, fill up these these uh, packages of ice as well. So um, hold on one second while we do that. Okay, so I've went and added about a half a cup of water to this to give us a little bit more, kind of it dilutes it down just a, a smidge bit. Um, I use fresh spring water um, that's, that's completely filtered out and everything for this. And, um, and again, we, let our, we definitely let our customers know. We tell them that it's, it's diluted about, um, about one half. Um, so we, we do um, just a bit over um, a cup usually fills this. So what we're gonna do is, we're going to take this and we're going to open up the funnel here, stick it in the top. Okay. We're going to go very slow because otherwise what will happen is, is uh, it'll just overflow because it, it, it doesn't have enough time um, to go into the bag. So let's go ahead and do that. See it fill up here. Looks pretty, doesn't it? I'm gonna to try to use the table to hold it from underneath, that way we don't spill anything here. Okay, and there we go. So now we got that done. We can take the funnel out. And you can see here, we have this entire thing filled up pretty good. This is, this is beautiful. Look how awesome that looks. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, this is, this is a lot of fun. So, so now what we do is, move this out of the way here. We use this, and I actually have this set for right between four and five on the side here. I don't know if you can see. Okay, and then I usually, well, that, that's about the setting that I use that I found that works for me. And it's as easy as just laying this in here. So we're gonna lay it in here. Just give me a second while we do this. You don't wanna spill anything, that would be bad. So you lay it right in there just like that. And then we close it for about 10 seconds. The light's on on the side. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And look at that. We have a nice, beautiful seal. So now, when we lay this down in the freezer, look how beautiful that's going to freeze. This is going to freeze just beautiful. And now the client has um, 
many different squares um, of wheatgrass. And what that'll do is, is once it freezes, you'll see, um, you know, they can actually just cut out one square at a time here and then just throw it right into their smoothie in the morning. Um, so looks looks great. All right, so uh, now that we've done this and we have this in the bag uh, ready to go here, we're going to go ahead and freeze it and we'll come back in a few hours and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back and uh, we've had our wheatgrass juice uh, in the freezer for a few hours now. And look how this has turned out. That is just, it's so beautiful. We'll do a close up here. Um, you know, this is kind of a really rewarding thing to do. Um, I don't know, it's just really satisfying to see this. And uh, you know, I have a lot of fun trying to figure out different ways and methods uh, to come up with stuff uh, when we you know, try to package it or how to sell something. Um, and I've been trying to figure out how, you know, the best way to do wheatgrass for a very long time. And uh, I figured out this method and I really love it. Our customers really love this. Again, they're like little squares, so you can just literally cut it off with some scissors. You take the cube and you put it right on your smoothie. People usually do, um, you know, uh, one, two, three, even four, depending on how many you want in your smoothie. You can, uh, if it's too strong, you can kind of go down one cube. If it's not enough, you just go up one cube and so forth. Um, and you probably get a good $15 out of this. This is actually one entire tray of wheatgrass, all in these ice cubes here. Um, so it's an entire tray of wheatgrass. There's a lot of nutrients in this. And uh, again, it's, it's, it's very easy to, uh, to consume this way. Um, especially when you put it into a smoothie because it's, you know, it's, it doesn't taste as bad because that's the number one thing that people dislike about the wheatgrass is the taste. So, um, you know, we hope, hope you learned something today, guys. Um, you know, I like to pass my knowledge along um, to you guys and, and show you some of the things that I've figured out. And, uh, you know, we, we hope that uh, you, you, know, you implement this when you go to your farmer's markets as well. I would love to see it. You know, I'd love to see pictures and stuff too. So, you know, tag us on Instagram and things like that. So, um, other than that, uh, we'll see you next time for Next Grow, and uh, we'll see you soon. Hello everyone, Peter here from Princeton Microgreens. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Also, if you have any ideas, suggestions, or questions, feel free to leave them below in the comment box. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.